arm because you're good at what you do. All right, we got some more downtime in here today. So what I'm doing, I'm working on a three inch butt weld, just staying sharp like I told y'all before. Anytime you get some downtime, just make sure you practice. Sharpen up, stay sharp, stay honed in on your craft. Got a little heavy on that uh, tack on the side, but there's a trick to that as well. Whenever you get heavy on the tack, just make sure you, whenever you go to feather that tack down, make sure you go extra, extra feather, if that make any sense. Feather it down because you gotta remember the inside of that tack, it's a lot of reinforcement. So what you wanna do is just feather it all the way, pretty much all the way, not all the way through, but give it a good feather. So when you put that heat on, what it's gonna do is gonna suck itself back and then it'll even out. That's just a little trick. But uh, yeah, I just threw this together. So what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and run it. See if your boy still got it. You gotta remember, I'm over electricians and I've been here with the electricians for about uh, about three months now. I'm not doing nothing but building these things. And that's it, three months. <laughs> I got four, five, six done. But uh, let me go ahead and start this test. See what happens from there. So on this practice test that I'm showing you, um, as you can see up here, you see how it keyhole all the way up the pipe? Sometimes when you got rusted pipe or you got spots on your pipe that's a little rusted out, whenever you put that heliarch on it, it'll want to keyhole all the way up. It'll kind of like consume that rust spot area. Or even sometimes you may uh, be in a rush and you do your feather edge, or not your feather edge, but you do your, um, your bevel and you might have some, some thin spots. I'm not exactly sure what happened here, but if I had to guess, I would say it was some heavy rust because if you look inside the pipe, you can see how rusted it is. But I did grind back a little bit. If you look down the pipe, you can see. But again, I wasn't really trying to be too particular. Just trying to kind of, just kind of being in a rush, but I'm gonna show you how that's not gonna affect nothing because the way I'm gonna put this root in. So what I'm gonna do, instead of continuing to run it up, I'm gonna just start at this tack. And it's not quite going downhill. Because if you see, 12 o'clock, and this is right here. Some QCs will have an issue with it, but hell, I'm gonna still run with it. And this is one of the reasons why I tell you, never panic. So remember that crazy gap that ran up the pipe I was showing you? And this is how I filled it in. Wait a minute. I just pretty much continue to run it up. But what I did, I stepped over this side and I fed my wire through this side here and I pretty much positioned my wire right, right there where that crazy gap started creeping up the pipe. And I struck off on the arc right there. I, went, I made the Healy arc pretty much melt that whole area and I added my wire, kind of hung my wire a little bit below my bevel, and I just filled that area in, filled that area in, and just kind of did like a puzzle. Side to side, watching that puddle. Side to side, watching that puddle. Side to side, watching that puddle. And wherever I needed to fill in, I just took my heliarch and my filler metal and just guided it right over there. Kept it in the puddle, kept it hot. Just taking your time. Whenever you're running a good heat, you don't have to be in a rush. You don't have to worry about your puddle falling. You don't have to worry about too much. Just take care of that gap. Side to side, side to side. Just hold that wire just a little bit below the bevel as you go side to side and as you feed it. And uh, you get good results like this. So let's see what that pipe looks like. I know y'all wanna let it go right there, you see? No problem, my friend. Let's see if we can get a better look. Okay, let's see. There it go right there. That's the root. It all came out really good. It's not concave. Got good penetration. Let's see if I can get a better angle. Yeah, 
there. All right, that's the ending result right there. Nice penetration, uniform roof, and that's what you want. Whenever you get spare time, remember to practice because practice is what's gonna make you perfect. It's gonna help you perfect your craft. This is what's gonna get you the bucks. Let's go, let's go, let's. I'll see y'all in the next one.